For occupants of the Hilton Hotel who want to reach Canary Wharf, the rather high location of the proposed cycle bridge would have been excellent. And the management could have stopped subsidising the existing ferry to Canary Wharf. The bridge would also be appreciated by Surrey Docks residents who work in Canary Wharf. For everyone else, the Hilton location is suboptimal. The problems are, first, the connection from the Double Tree Hilton to the A200 was planned as part of a leisure route to the 2012 Olympics. It wasn't planned for commuter use. Second, the bridge is not a good fit with the pattern of cycle traffic flow in South and East London. Third, as the engineers are likely to have pointed out, there would be problems with both approach ramps. There isn't really the space for them. I haven't heard that the Hilton has offered to contribute to the cost of the £65 million bridge, and the location was probably based on Sustran's imaginative understanding of cycle movements in South London which has very little relationship with Strava's mapping of the routes cyclists actually use. There's now a revised location for the bridge, about 200 metres downstream, and distinctly better from both the engineering and the network points of view, but it has three drawbacks. First, it turns Darren's Wharf Park, which is a peaceful place, into a spaghetti spiral for cyclists. Far too many public open spaces have been used for transport infrastructure. It shouldn't be done, even for a cycle bridge. Second, the bridge would spoil the historic entrance to Millwall Dock by blocking its throat. Third, the Darren's Wharf location is only a slightly better fit with the pattern of cycle movements in South East London. The best solution is to move the bridge another 1,500 metres downstream to Pepys Park. This would have little effect on its usefulness to the Surrey Docks area and would have other advantages. First, it would have much better connections to the proposed cycle superhighways on the A200 and the Isle of Dogs. The mayor is supporting CS4 on the A200, and I'm supporting the Isle of Dogs Superhighway. Second, the Peeps Bridge would reduce the number of cyclists in the Greenwich Foot Tunnel, which is a popular but inconvenient route for cycling from South East London to Canary Wharf and the city. Third, the Convoy's Wharf developers might contribute to the cost of a cycle bridge from Peeps Park to the Isle of Dogs. The Western Approach Ramp would flow comfortably into Peeps Park. The Eastern Approach Ramp would turn north on the Isle of Dogs side and make its descent parallel to the river. There's a good deal of space there. The Isle of Dogs Superhighway is 97% built and could be completed by adding 5 or 10% to the cost of the bridge. The result would be an enormous gain for South East London's cycle network. I hope they'll do it.